reported the number one seller in Japan now is is diapers for men and women, not not depends. Because you you, you don't you have incontinence. It is the it is the relished pleasure of large sections of the Japanese. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Matt Walsh? If you're talking about Matt Walsh, this all makes sense. This all checks out. Yeah, Matt Walsh is really into that. Uh, like adults wearing diapers. He actually likes adults wearing diapers so much that he made a doll of himself in a diaper that he wants to sell to kids. He also has judged diaper wrestling competitions. Yeah, between... much Alex Jones is trending right now. Alex Jones is uh, as famous as ever, despite, uh, you know, being what he is. And uh, there's a lot of people on the right who are using this meme. Alex Jones was right, as in he's been predicting things. And now we've come full circle. Uh, Tucker Carlson has a new special coming out about how Alex Jones predicted 9-11, which uh, I'm not going to spoil it for all of you, but spoiler warning, uh, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He didn't predict 9/11, um, but uh, there's going to be a lot of 9/11 trutherism. It's back, baby. We we got that whole shit. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be happening. And now uh, there's uh, this being released by Infowars saying Alex Jones actually predicted a whole bunch of things a decade ago, over 10 years ago. Alex Jones explained all the signs of the uh, collapsing society, including people pooping on themselves. And Nickelodeon on record to five-year-olds teaching them not just how to have sex, which would be bad enough. But what are you doing sexualizing children? But confusing their gender. And I'm not knocking you if you got tattoos. As a oh, that was that was it for that one. So basically, what they're doing here is they've got a little supercut of all the things Alex Jones was doing. He's basically doing what every pop cultural YouTuber does now. You know, from from Tim Pool to the quartering, all of them that they, they they all do this now. Like this this may have been a little bit more unique uh, back in the day because Alex Jones was doing it maybe on his public access show before he started Prison uh, Planet, which then evolved into Infowars and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, he, he just being a bigot. Being a bigot with a microphone. I mean, ultimately, we should be giving more credit to Rush Limbaugh, rest in piss, because, you know, that motherfucker was doing this and, and popularizing it and showing that, hey, yeah, if you're on AM radio and you're talking a whole bunch of horrified bigotry, there's a lot of people who want to listen to it. And then there's a lot of people who want to listen to it and then give you money. Hey, why don't you try doing it on public access television and then your own Internet show, Alex Jones? You're you're a pioneer in copying what other people did and then taking it to other mediums. By the passage, you were in the military. I see some neat tattoos. It's an art form. I get it. The point is, is that in cultures, when the people start getting tattoos and cutting themselves and, 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 and changing their body, uh, look at the Old Testament. Every culture that did that, oh my gosh, get ready. That's what happens in every culture that gets decadent. It always, Rome, Babylon, the Ad I mean, all this is showing is that, hey, look, uh, back in the day, Alex Jones was transphobic, but before it was cool. Yeah, he was he was doing that stuff. He, these are predictions, you see, all predictions. As text, you know history. People end up cutting themselves, tattooing themselves, running around, human sacrificing, wallowing in poop. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. More recently, uh, a lot of people don't like to talk about him in terms of him being like a massive homophobe, transphobe, or a white supremacist, because he spreads a lot of white supremacist shit as well, right? He's got guests on there, full-blown neo-Nazis uh, have been regular contributors to the show, as well as the fact that he himself talks about how, like, you shouldn't be ashamed to call yourself a Christian nationalist. We should be more proud of that, okay? And we should be more proud of our culture and our race and all this kind of stuff. And he's like, that's not me being racist, okay? He's like, I, I love other races. I, I love Mexican food. I love black women, all right? I, I love everything, okay? I'm not saying I'm a racist, but I'm just saying that, like, you know, we should be able to talk about these kind of things. And it's like, that stuff is not the stuff you hear about with Alex Jones. With Alex Jones, it's all memes. You know, it's it's all like, ah, oh, gay frogs, uh, the gay frogs guy, he's funny. He's, he's always right, right? Yeah, he was talking about uh, there was hybrid human pig creatures and, and yeah, they're, they're coming real now. Crazy government. They want to teach everybody to not be tolerant and attack people that just want to live like normal mammals. One male fox, one female fox, in a den oof no i'm telling him about all the species of frogs that seem to change characteristics of which scientists have now kind of determined that that whole thing isn't true turns out it's a spectrum yeah like a lot of things even even biological realities even biological realities that one oof yeah that that, that one hurts having babies 
a daddy whale, a mommy whale, having two baby whales that nurse mommy in the Atlantic Ocean. Again, it's just wild. They try to say, like, look what Alex Jones was capable of, like, identifying a decade. Like, all this is showing is, like, yeah, a decade ago, he was just as transphobic as ever. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He was right in that he was a transphobe and still is. And still is a proud transphobe. What a fucking prediction. That's not racist. That's not extreme. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one has ever accused that of racism. I don't think on any corner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that there are just two genders. Just two. There's no such thing as trans people. I'm not being a racist. <laughs> I wasn't accusing you of being a racist. I was, I was accusing you of being a transphobe. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess if the shoe fits, usually they do go hand in hand. People usually don't have like just the one isolated bigotry, you know, they kind of just go all over the place. It's like, hey, and yeah, let me tell you about the Jews, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just like, oh, wow, you're just you're just doing them all, you know, playing all the classics. <laughs> That's not bad. You know, they say mother and father. Those words are now intolerant in France and the U.S. and Canada, and the federal governments remove the name mother and father, man and woman. Just saying you're a man is, 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 is bigoted. Just saying you're a woman that likes men is bigoted. I'm not... Let me no, it's not. Man, so 10 years, none of this has changed. This is actually, like, that's the, the most informative part of this video. It's the exact same arguments for, again, imaginary nonsense. Because there's no one saying like, oh, well, yeah, you're, you're bad if you're straight. Yeah, you're, you're evil. No. I guess if you, like, if you are just like fucking, you are a white supremacist, you are trying to basically impose upon other people, you see the whole world in that frame. And it's the only way you can understand it. And so suddenly you're like, whoa, some people are getting not equality yet, but they are getting less persecution. So that 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 is diminishing a bit. So uh, they're gaining a little equality, but they're not equals yet. Definitely not. Not within the, you know, the eyes of the law or generally speaking within the way society treats them. But yeah, so that's, uh, as I would uh, suggest, a uh, very good thing you know that's great but 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 witnessing that suddenly it's like oh you know th this is definitely a war this is a war and suddenly you're evil you're evil if you're just a man who says he wants to have sex with a woman a woman with giant anime titties just rubbing me in the face mommy milky oh yeah no that's wrong i know it's a, they tell you that's wrong somehow look at it this is who they are they're attacking humanity it's a eugenics operation these women covered head to toe in satanic tattoos screaming hail satan Cool. With bags of poop. What? Because that's all they've got. Is look, I'm going to be bad. I'm going to show you. That's their possession now. Not a good job. Not having kids. Not having a good husband. Not having some goats and chickens in the backyard. <laughs> Man, the American dream gets more and more complicated. Right? It used to be white picket fence, you know, 2.5 kids, nuclear family, all that kind of stuff. Hey, you even might have yourself that new fancy space heater thing that cooks food extra fast with the powers of the radiation. We love radiation. Yes, it's great. Let's have lots more radiation. Uh, now, what? Sorry, you got to have a goat, a couple chickens in the backyard. I mean, I, I'm not opposed to it. Who doesn't want a goat friend and, and a couple of farm animals? I, I, I will say, though, it is, it's a lot more work than a lot of people are expecting. It's not simply like you just have a goat. You know, you just have chickens and then you just have an easy life afterwards. It's like, oh, well, yeah, we don't we don't have to want for nothing, really. When I want some milk, I just go outside and grab the goat. When I want a couple of eggs, I just grab the chickens. Otherwise, they kind of just fend for themselves, really take care of themselves, too. Yeah. Growing things and being loving. No, being demonic hobgoblins running around foaming at the mouth. That's what happens in every culture that gets decadent. It always Rome, Babylon. The Aztec. Uh, Bloomberg reported the number one seller in Japan now is is diapers for men and women, not not depends, because you, you you don't you have incontinence. It is the it is the relished pleasure of large sections of the Japanese. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Matt Walsh? If you're talking about Matt Walsh, this all makes sense. This all checks out. Yeah, Matt Walsh is really into that. I, like adults wearing diapers. He actually likes adults wearing diapers so much that he made a doll of himself in a diaper that he wants to sell to kids. He also has judged diaper wrestling competitions. Yeah, between Nazis. One of them had a swastika on his back. Two grown men, oiled up, in diapers, wrestling each other, judged by Matt Walsh. 
I guess so. This prediction came true. If he's actually, if this is code, you know, he's he's doing the like Nostra Joneses or whatever. He's trying to actually like encode parts of what he's saying, and then he's actually talking about Matt Walsh. Knees to to wear diapers and to defecate on themselves mm. and, and and to sit around watching TV and doing it. Sorry, that that if we're supposed to take him factually for a second here, that that apparently was the number one selling in Japan, the number one seller. What was that? Was 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 diapers for for human beings to defecate themselves with, and 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 to do so on each other? Uh, that was reported by Bloomberg. So if I Google Bloomberg, Japan, diaper number one seller. All right. After profit tops, no premium diaper coterie raises twenty four million. No, none of those. Um. Hmm. Well, maybe it was just, you know, something that uh, he misread. Right out of idiocracy. And, and, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you think I'm joking, there uh, is adult uh, diapers uh, to pass new. Oh, good. Nice. We have it. So this is Bloomberg. Let's scroll back up. Well, this is Yahoo News Canada, but they could be taking. If you think I'm Bloomberg. joking, and there it is. Adult diapers surpass new uh, trend among Japanese women. Wait, you you said it was the number one seller in Japan. A trend becoming popularized is very different from the Daily Buzz. They do it to save time, and they aren't the only ones who are using them voluntarily. Most toddlers can feel a sense of accomplishment when they graduate to the big boy or girl potty, but some people in Japan voluntarily going back to wearing diapers. Japanese media reports the trend of wearing adult diapers is becoming increasingly popular, especially for women looking to save time. According to Oddity Central, a Japanese magazine described the trend in an article, The Ultimate Form of Slob. In the article, they talk about how masculinization of women don't clean their rooms as often as they used to, and they don't shave and they wear diapers. One 25-year-old woman who would be identified under a pseudonym has been wearing a diaper at work at a real estate agency almost every day for the last six months. She does it to save time and the trouble of going to the washroom. She doesn't wear the one where she's with her boyfriend and only wears them under a skirt uh, because the pants make it too obvious. Where's where's the part of the whole thing being a secret satanic fetish cult where they were filling their diapers with poo and pooing on each other and hanging out with each other? Like, Alex, I hate to be the one to say it, but that think that's your fantasy like i'm not saying your fantasy is in like your sexual fantasy i'm just saying you have made a fantastical situation that isn't real based on a news article that doesn't talk about what you're talking about this news article here is talking about how women in the workforce who want to save time because they might be working too much that could probably be one of the problems here uh, are wearing diapers so they don't have to go to the bathroom the similar stories have happened in places, say, like Amazon in America, where people were peeing in bottles or shitting in bags because they want to be able to make quotas, and that's really fucked up. That doesn't mean that that's part of a fetish or, or a satanic cult. They're, they're, they're not doing that as, as part of a fetish. They're, they're, that's just they're, they're being forced to do it against their will by a massive corporation under capitalism. That sucks. That's bad. You know, forcibly having to do something that you don't want to do as part of just having being able to survive in society. That's bad baths a day, scrubbing their skin, being the cleanest culture on earth. But see, how do you become decadent? How do you show people I'm desperate? I'm like, I, I feel like you went to one onsen at one point and then you're like, well, the Japanese are obsessed with clean. Uh, they even wash their hands after they go poo. It's wild. Uh, look at this. Their entire culture is obsessed with it. I don't understand it. I don't wash my hands more than once a month because I'm a man. But look at all these scared Japanese I'm folk. freaking out I don't know what to do with all this electromagnetic radiation and this and this TV culture and the breakdown of the family what do we do we commit suicide culturally and I'm not knocking you if you got tattoos as a rite of passage you were in the military I see some wait that's the only reason you're allowed to have them <laughs> but anything else is satanic or decadent or part of some weird diaper <laughs> neat tattoos it's an art form I get it got friends with tattoos I get it my wife's got a pretty rose tattoo on her back. She's had what? No, oh, no. Which one, Alex? There's been like 12 <laughs> had since college, whatever. The point is, is that in cultures, when the people start getting tattoos and cutting <laughs> themselves and <laughs> I'm not going after anyone who has a tattoo. Okay. I understand it. You're in the military or whatever, you know, write a passage. My wife has tattoos. I might have like 25 tattoos under a shirt. We'll never know. It's conspiracy folks, but I am going to say this at the end of the day. Tattoos, it's a sign of Satanism. Yep, Beelzebub, the Dark Prince rises again. And, 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 and changing their body. Uh, look at the Old Testament. Every culture that did that, oh my gosh, get ready. Yeah, 
he, he's not talking about, by the way, uh, circumcision. He, uh, he's not talking about any of that kind of stuff. Uh, he's talking about tattoos uh, in the Bible. It's in the Bible, everybody. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah. Huh? Ever read about that? Liberals, we can't allow AlexJonesGame.com with New World Order Wars. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? And then, ah, okay, it's a racist ad for uh, Alex Jones's video game. And, and that's going to really trigger everyone and get them to, to play it and download it. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen here. To make fun of communist Chinese puppets like the good, loving Trudeau or Hillary Clinton or Klaus Schwab. Do <laughs> So you made an Alex Jones video game where you kill all of your <laughs> political enemies in the game, shooting at them where they are clearly demonic right here. So, no, no, this is not a parody. <laughs> it's not. No, no, no. It's, it's not a parody. The, the, this is real. This is an ad where, uh, again, Alex Jones on uh, most of his videos, he does what every right winger does. They really pad the time, right? They, they, they have these videos and they'll be like, oh, yeah, this is definitely a 10 minute video. The first couple minutes is going to be them just reading a quote or news article. And, and then the next two minutes is most likely going to be them complaining about it. That's where you get Matt Walsh being like, I hate this. Well, what is Riz? Riz. You know, fucking, we're, we're losing our vocabulary. And, and then it's ads. It's just ads and ads and ads and ads. Even the fucking, uh, like, you know, anti-SJW fucking, uh, what are those channels where people just, like, play a video game for, like, 10 minutes and then you, you have the, like, the HelloFresh ad and then it's done. They put in more work. They put in more work than a lot of the right does. In this case, all it is is a compilation of like, whoa, look, Alex Jones predicted things by being a massive homo fucking phobic, uh, transphobic piece of shit 10 years ago. Look how transphobic he was like a decade ago. Yeah, he hasn't changed. Congratulations. And now ads. Get ready for the ads. What? No. As we go on. Man, I knew you were a chud. I knew you were a fucking, you know, sexist piece of shit, but I didn't know you were this bad. <laughs> Holy shit. When did this happen? When did... Asmongold. <laughs> you were just a World of Warcraft player. Oh, man, giving World of Warcraft a bad name. You know? Good now. Now everyone's gonna... No, hashtag not all World of Warcraft. Not not all WoW players, all right? Not not all WoW players. I can't even speak. All right, let's get, uh, let's get the Asmongold part of the ad. I think we can all agree that this new video game looks fantastic. So these scientists with vaccines? We are going... Okay. To be fair and or balanced, TM, I got to be clear right now. Um, uh, this doesn't look like he was actually paid to be a, a part of the Alex Jones product placement. This looks like he was doing a Let's Play on his channel. They took a clip of it and they threw it into the Alex Jones commercial. Just to be fair and or balanced. That doesn't change the fact that Asmongold seems super happy to be playing an Alex Jones video game where he apparently is killing vaccine scientists, throwing vaccines at him. And thinks it's like, lol, kek. <laughs> Amazing. To defeat the globalists, very big. Oh, so in the Alex Jones video game, uh, Donald Trump uh, joins in, and then you get Super Trump uh, as an additional uh, help. <laughs> Bill Clinton in here. Well, I mean, this one just makes sense, right? Yeah, like obviously. Uh, yeah, I get to kill Bill Clinton, then kill Hillary Clinton in a video game. Oh, hey, I'm so cool. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is, bro. I destroyed that. What the hell even was that? I don't even know what that was. Tucker Carlson. Wow. Damn, Asmongold. <laughs> Multiple appearances. Yeah, I mean, you, you would go probably with the biggest name uh, of all of these people, right? Like, uh, the other ones seem to just be a mix of chuds and then the quartering just being thrown in there. Uh, it just looks like a literal ripoff of Broforce or Meadow Slug. I mean... It, it, the, the 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 genre is a genre at the end of the game you know the red and gun the, you can't you can't uh, can't take that away from the fact that there's going to be multiple games like that uh i'm sure alex jones had a couple million to give to a dev team to make a competent video game to play as right Talks are really grossing me out wait it's actually zombies by the way, like, these people would have had to, Epstein Island, of course, these people would have had to have agreed, right? Like, if you're not, I'm not talking about Asmongold or any of these people. He's clearly just taken a clip from them and thrown them into his own commercial. So enjoy that, Asmongold. Um, but uh, most people would have had to uh, agree, right? Like, if Tucker Carlson is an actual character in the game who's got, like, his full likeness and then, and, and, like, sound clips, like, at one point, like, Alex Jones reached out to Tucker, right? They, they were frenzies. That's, that's what the leak revealed, that they, they used to text each other on a regular basis. There's skeletons. 
It's the two fake news jesters. What will I do? You're just lying. Uh, FNN, all right, CNN, I guess. In your house. That's hilarious. So we got Brian Stelter. Oh, that's Mark Zuckerberg. I like that every one of these clips is just people recognizing the, the like Ben Garrison tier references in the ad too. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's a thing, a thing that I recognize and hate. So I'm, I'm shooting at the thing I hate right now. Yeah, oh, it, look at these scientists, all these fucking lab coats coming at me, trying to vaccinate me, killing all of them. There's your Fauci ouchy keck. We're gonna lizard. This is hard, okay, guys. No, 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 no. I have never been so angry at you, Americans. This is Antonov here telling you. I uh, get it. Support the police. The Jeff Keeley's Game Awards. No, no, Penguin Zero. No. You were supposed to be one of the good normies, the normies who who apparently would spend time after a while and have their opinions change. And you would actually listen to the feedback and, you know, two or three videos later, then you'd be like, guys, uh, Law, you were mad. But like, you know, maybe, maybe you're right. Well, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, out of all the people in this video so far. I'm going to give Penguin Zero the benefit of the doubt and, uh, you know, watch the actual Penguin Zero. Not not at this moment in time. We still have to get to that David Rubin clip, but watch Penguin Zero and then see whether or not uh, it was a critical analysis of Alex Jones and his life or whether it was just little epic memes for the poggies. Game of the year? Clearly. I mean, uh, clearly. Wow. Damn. Asmongold. Game of the year. Well, no, I think he's being sarcastic, though, if, if I'm being totally transparent there. That's not going to stop Alex Jones from taking it, using it. I, are you getting any money from this, by the way? Do you know that you're appearing in Alex Jones ads? Because that's, like, that's pretty bad, you know? Of all the figures, Alex Jones, oof, that's one of the really bad ones. It's not exactly what people consider brand safe. You don't want to be appearing in the Alex Jones, the video game. <laughs> Racist trailer. No, yes, I am. Oh, you will be sent to forced labor camps. You will be punished by Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates. Good time to plug Knowledge Fight, if everyone doesn't know. Uh, if you ever want to dispel the idea that Alex Jones is always right, because I think what's closer is there is no other human being who is more consistently wrong. Because that's, it's a little more wordy, mucho texto, I know, the fucking leftist, right? But uh, he, on a regular basis, gets so much shit wrong that, yes, if you speak for a living, if you were to take, say, clips of me from, like, you know, five years ago, you might find a thing or two that I had the power to predict. Not because I'm clairvoyant or I have the sight, but because I'm speaking for fucking three hours a day, so some of the things I say might come true. That's just going to be fucking the luck of the die right there. When it comes to Alex Jones, he is so consistently wrong about everything, everything go through a fucking one episode of Knowledge Fight and see them because all they do is listen to a full Alex Jones two hour fucking recording and break down bit by bit why he's lying or why he's wrong and it's just like yeah in this case he's referencing something that does not say what he thinks he's saying in this case he's invoking something that has nothing to do with the subject he's talking about in this case he's just flat lying this never happened in fact the true thing that happened and and they just do it like thing after thing yeah dan i mean it is dan doing doing a lot of the research right but like it, it's still it, it is it, no better example of people who want to now say alex jones is always right it's confirmation bias of the highest order it's people seeing this motherfucker say a handful of shit it, and then all of a sudden being like, oh, so the the, the one thing you said did actually that that is based a little bit in truth, and that turned out to be no, 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 everything I say is true, absolutely. A lot of people like to point to the gay frogs. Okay, that's only part and parcel of what's actually happening. People are proving nowadays that there are genetic human hybrids that are being cloned secretly in government labs, and, and that's just fact. Now, now it came true. I told you absolutely. I predicted all this piece for piece, word for word. And then you're like, no, no, <laughs> no. No, no, no. No one consistently, I would say, in terms of professional speakers who make a living of being just like a public orator, get things more consistently wrong than Alex Jones. And then you can take the one thing in the like, you know, other 20,000 things he lied about or got wrong or, or distorted in his episodes and then be like, well, that one thing, that one's true. That one, that one came slightly true, right? Thank you so much for watching everybody, can you please hit the like and subscribe button and maybe leave a comment, it really does help the videos out, but first, the people who produce everything you see before you and make this entire channel possible, Amazing Fletch, Anna Loves Riley, Arian McCarthy, Cheryl Alvarez, Doug Caddy, Everything Important, Hagbard Celine, Multimondi, Omni, 
Peanut Butter Blondie, Political Puppy, Quiet 185, Rachel K, Riley and Anna, Roller Dragon, Ruby K, Cernicus, Spinach Monster, Stellar Vision, Sebastian Demel, Trevbot.exe, Words Greenwood, and Travis McClinton. And also, thank you to every other person who helps fund this show. Their names are on the screen right now. It would not be possible without every single one of them. We cannot thank you enough. And if you want to join the Patreon, please come to patreon.com slash thesurfs and, and, and help us exist. <laughs>